Father, I thank you. I thank you that I'm able to sit here, bring forth your word, bring forth this message. Lord, in the name of Jesus, whoever's listening, whoever's on the other side of this camera, Father God, Lord, that you would just intervene in their lives at this time, Lord. I give you praises and glory. I thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. My name is uh, Arnold Small Canyon, and I pastor this church here. I've been pastoring here for quite some times now, ever since uh, June the 2nd, 1999. And I've enjoyed all the services that we had. I've enjoyed the people that have come in. Some have gone. But um, just to tell you a little bit of my story, I went into the hospital with COVID-19 back in March 20th into the ICU. And I was on the ventilator for 40 something days to where there was sores on my, on my butt. There was, um, my, my sugar level went high. Everything kind of just blew up there. And uh, the only thing that pulled me through was the Lord Jesus Christ. And I had a, a visitation from the Lord during those times when I was in bed. And uh, one, of the, one of the times was that, you know, the, Jesus himself appeared and when he appeared man just the just the radiance from him just the radiance of the warmth just the the light that came off of him and then the love that he had the love that just penetrates you and there's no other place that I would rather be than to be beside my Jesus and um, I had some encounters. I had um, I had this one this one um, vision that I had is that and that's the new wine. The new wine. The Bible talks about you know when when uh, when we go into heaven, we will not drink or eat here on this earth until until we get into heaven. And thinking about that, there is no fermentation in heaven. And I tasted the wine. It is the sweetest kind of sour. And then they serve served that with me with a pie, a little pie. And this pie was like honey. And like I said before, you know, even the bees, the bees that we have, they're subject to him. They obey him. They bring him this, this uh, honey. And I took a bite of that. It was so sweet. And that took me back to the verse that says, you know, I took... I ate the word, I ate the word of God and how sweet it was, sweeter than honey. And I believe, you know, that's, that's the Lord showing me some of the things that, uh, that, he has, um, that he has in store for me from here on. One of the pastors on the phone said to me, brother, you are being sharpened. You are being sharpened for 
greater works. And with that, I mean that, you know, like you sharpen a pencil, sharpen a knife, sharpen uh, whatever object that you need to do to cut. And, and I believe that, that that's one of the things that, you know, that was really prophetic to me by one of the brothers. And then also another brother said to me that, you know, I wasn't walking that back then, but he said, you know, brother, faith walks. And I thought about that. And he said, you know, faith walks. Faith can walk on the water. Faith can walk in the valley of the shadow of death. Faith can walk, he says. So with that in mind, I started to work on my on my legs. I started to work on my on my knees, my my, my legs got stronger. Now I'm able to walk without a walker. During those times, when I was with the Lord, I did so many funeral services, so many little kids, little ones. There was a little kid, you know, on a, on a little bicycle. He had some candy in front of him. He's riding around. All of a sudden, you know, there was no sound there found out that he had passed away. So I don't know how many funeral service that, that we have done, but I'm pretty sure that's it's going to be a lot. It's going to devastate. And then uh, also another time I had a, a vision of uh, evil evil that was taking place within the within our nation. We can't really do much about it, but you know, the only thing that we can do is pray against it. Pray against it. Pray against it, and the Lord says, you know, He's going to nullify. Like Psalms 91 says, you know, He that dwelt in the shadow of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of His wing. Bible says that, you know, 10,000 will fall at my right. Thousands will fall at my left. I believe that, you know, this is what the message is, you know, that, that the Lord had, had given me. And one of the things that, that the Lord gave me was the doors. Like in Genesis, it talks about the door says, the Lord opens the door, but no man can shut it. And I believe this, this, you know, I've been kind of like doing my own study in my hospital room and in, in, in uh, the rehab center. These doors were opened by our grandparents, by our parents, by those that love us so. They are there down on their knees, two o'clock in the morning. I don't know how, how long they're in prayer. And they opened the door for us. I believe there's a lot of family out there that the doors are still open. And no man can shut it until they hear the word of God. And I believe it's up to you and I to share the gospel, to share the Lord, to be able to save these folks. And with that in mind, you know, I say that, you know, the doors have been open. The doors to, to these young folks, it's still open. And what we can do is, you know, as long as the Lord op had opened the door, we can share the gospel. We can share the word of God, have them learn, have them just have them, you know, get saved. That's the number one thing. You know, we don't have too much time left, I believe, from here on, you know. 
we got the next uh, the next thing that's on God's agenda is the rapture. And I believe that, you know, it's going to take place. I believe in my heart that it can be, it can happen anytime. So if you're listening today, if you're listening this evening here, I want you to take this into consideration that your family, the purpose for your family, the doors have been open already. It's easy now for them to accept the Lord. It's easy for them to accept and become Christians. And then there are some other, other things that I've experienced. I don't want to elaborate too much on that. It's kind of sensitive to the traditional, traditional folks. And I just want to say that, you know, there is a lot of evil that is taking place at this time in our world. And this COVID-19 is not helping us out any. It's just like making things worse. Making things worse. And I believe that, you know, one of these days we're going to pull out of this. We're going to pull out of this. No more. No more suffering. No more pain. No more. Whether we have it here in this world or in the next world. 